Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I've got a really special one for you. This Chattanooga right here is the third gen Chattanooga, and uh, it's by Tyco, of course. <laughs> and, um,. Uh, well, you know, we've got a... This is special to me because this is the last Tyco tender-driven Chattanooga I needed. I have the 280, I've got the black 080, and now I've got the silver with brown cab roof 080. So this was the last one I needed. There's another version of this one that has 638 on the cab, but that's for a later date. So we're going to be working on this one today. This one's a little bit worse for wear, as you can hopefully tell if my camera will focus here for you. Oh, the camera's not going to focus. Please focus, camera. There we go. As you guys can see, that's been totally cracked out, and so has that. Oh, you probably couldn't see that. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to have to work on this. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I do happen to know that this uh, is going to be rather interesting. So, we've got a normal tender drive. But look up in the shell. <laughs> Somebody has gone and put weights up in here. The reason I knew that is because there were two more on the other side. They actually fell out on me yesterday, I believe it was. So, yeah, it's <laughs> pretty funny. Let's see if we can get those out of there. Cause this thing really just needs traction tires to run properly, not, not, not weight. I mean, I'm sure the weight helps a little bit, but it doesn't need it. Okay, then I'm going to have to get all the glue out of there, so anyway, I'm going to skip the time lapse again, but I just had to show you guys that, it's pretty funny. Alrighty guys, so everything is disassembled now, and uh, the motor, it's its pretty filthy, don't get me wrong, but um, yeah, the coils actually aren't too bad either, which is a good thing to see. Um, so yeah, the, the little bit of burning slash oxidization on it is not too bad at all, so yeah, that motor is going to come out pretty nice. I wish I could say the same for this. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell, but there is like tons of hair and grime and all sorts all over that motor block. Just take a look at it. Okay, no. <laughs> um, but anyway, in all seriousness, uh, yes, this this engine will come out just fine. Uh, I guess everything isn't all disassembled. I forgot to disassemble these. Oops. But anyway, I'm going to get back into this right now.
Well, everybody, I had to do that last little part off camera just because those little clips are so annoying to deal with. But uh, anyway, it's back together now, so why don't we uh, go test it? So that's going to be it for today's video. I had a lot of fun fixing up this uh, Chattanooga. This has been quite a long project. I'm not exactly going to say how long it took me to do this, but it did take me quite a while actually. Anyway, that's going to be all. Thank you all so, so much for watching and keep on model railroading.